Welcome to Orange Grow 55. Thank you for tuning in. So in this video, we're going to talk about some pictures, some newly released pictures um, of Avengers Campus. I want to dive into these and talk about them because they're pretty interesting, actually. Before we do that, though, a quick little programming note. I just started a brand new show called The Orange Nerd Show, where we, where we talk all things nerdy, nerdy. Anything in regards to Star Wars, Marvel, Indiana Jones, anything in the nerd culture revolving around TV, film, or streaming will be talked about on The Orange Nerd Show. Um, I, it's a discussion based program. So I usually have my, my good friend Vash Sky. You guys are all familiar with Vash. So it's a great, great time and it's something different, right? Let's, you know, there's more to like our fandom than just the parks. Let's talk about the other stuff, right? There's more to life and more to the fandom than the parks. Let's talk about the film side. Let's talk about the streaming and all that good stuff. So check out Orange Nerd link up above when you get a chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So. Let's talk about this, um, th these new pictures coming out of Avengers Campus. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, here we go. So this is from the Diz Insider, a great website, by the way. I highly recommend that you guys check them out. So first look, upcoming Marvel-themed Avengers Campus coming to the Disneyland Resort. So let's dive into these pictures. Now, the first one, we've seen this. I've done a... a couple you know videos already on this the alien goo the cosmic goo in front of breakout i did a video on this as well the, the you know the outdoor vending but this is where it gets new this is pretty cool okay so i really really like this and i like this because it sort of has a duality to it and what do i mean by that well the oversized like condiments and like coke cans and things it definitely plays to the theme of Ant-Man. Okay, obviously, right? But it's also like kind of an indirect homage to what was there before, which was our beloved Bugs Land. Okay, so it's 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 definitely Ant-Man, but it pays homage to the former Bugs Land. I love that. I love that duality, how it's sort of a dual-purposed sort of theming going on here. I think it looks really, really cool. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I hope that like within the PIM test kitchen that like one side of the room, everything is like really big. But then as you walk towards the other side of the room, things start to shrink down and everything's really small. I think that would look really trippy. Um, I think that'd be actually pretty cool. But I, I love this picture um, with the condiments, the Coke hands. It's awesome. And again, a really cool indirect homage to Bugs Land. All right, so moving right along here. Now, this one is interesting. So this is the Doctor Strange-themed Ancient Sanctum. will feature the orb of Ka Ka Cagliostro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, which looks cool during the day, but will apparently really come alive at night. So this is very cool looking, right? This is pretty dope. I like the look of that. This is for that new Doctor Strange show coming out. Now, I do want to also mention to you guys, because I definitely think it's worth notating i'm gonna there we go okay so i'm gonna i wanted to bring this up because you see a lot of people a lot of people talk about oh avengers campus you know disney is just shoehorning marvel in with it has nothing to do with california they're not even trying they they've given up on california and I just want to say that's complete nonsense, absolute nonsense. This is from the Disney Parks website, the Disney Parks website, right? And this is a, a, like a little synopsis of like the backstory for this Doctor Strange show. It says here, an ancient site hidden for centuries. The very first paragraph, for as long as as anyone can remember rumors of unexplained events and energies have emanated from a remote location in the hills outside what is that los angeles wait a minute but i thought they were not they gave up on california why are they trying to tie it to los angeles that doesn't make sense I, come on okay i all joking is that this is ridiculous obviously um, you know, they're, they're, they're making, they're, they're making an attempt to tie this to California. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that the Imagineers are trying to kind of bring this basically like respect the overall theme of California adventure. And to be honest with you, 
the naysayers who say that Disney has given up on California because they're using IP now is rubbish anyway, because it's all California still, right? Like, I don't want to digress too far, but when you're looking at Cars Land, it's car culture and Route 66, which is very California. I mean, yeah, it's themed to a Pixar movie, but at the end of the day, there's elements that are strongly tied to the state. Same with Pixar Pier, with Seaside Piers. Again, it's a no-brainer. That's very California. They're just using Pixar Pier, I mean, Pixar characters to kind of populate that pier. But it's still a pier at the end of the day, which is very California. Buena Vista Street, and now Avengers Campus. And they're making an attempt, a decent attempt, actually, that makes sense to tie this area to California. And I think we're going to see more and more of this in Avengers Campus. I don't think that this Doctor Strange backstory tied to LA is actually going to be the only thing that we see. Um, I, I mean, actually, you know what it actually says right here? Um, in the late 1940s, a Stark Industries complex was built on the location. So what we're seeing, which I think is the web Spider-Man, web slingers attraction, is actually that, it, that Stark uh, Industries complex. You can see the signage used to be like an like a stark automotive building and that, that they repurposed um so the the backstory for that is even you know california so look i'm all in on avengers campus it has um ties to california they're trying to make that attempt marvel exists in our world tony stark lived in malibu the Wakanda Outreach Center was in Oakland. So there's plenty of California tie-ins here with Marvel in California. But I just wanted to bring that up to you guys because, you know, I see a lot of this about how, you know, they've abandoned the California theme, which is complete and total nonsense. Um, all right. So I want to do one more. All right. So we're going back to this. And then this picture right here. This is really, really cool. I mean, this is just classic right here. This is going to be the shot I think most people are going to try to try to go for when they when they post their selfies or pictures or whatever. This with the Avengers logo, you got the Quinjet in the background, Mission Breakout. I absolutely love this. This looks incredible. The Imagineers went all out, by the way, in, in regards to the like the artwork, the design work, the tile work for the ground on Avengers Campus, which I think looks really, really cool. And uh, let's move on. This is that Stark Motors that I was just mentioning to you about, that repurposed old Stark building from the 40s. Now, this is very interesting right here. Okay, this is some 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 wall art, graffiti art from um, for Spider-Man Web Slingers. I really like this. And I like this because, again, it pays homage to something else. Um I don't know if you guys have seen Into the Spider-Verse, which was a fantastic, fantastic animated movie from a couple of years ago, a few years ago. And this artwork reminds me very much of that film, okay? That's why I love this, because it's sort of paying homage to that Spider-Man. You know, it, it's, it's, it's like an indirect kind of, kind of nod to that, which I think was really brilliant, actually. Um, now, Sony does, I mean, that, that was a Sony movie also. May, maybe there is some sort of, uh, you know, cooperation or, or whatever with Sony to kind of do that. Maybe that was the intention. I don't know. But uh, I'd like to think it was. Because in Spider-Verse was an amazing movie. If you guys haven't seen that movie, definitely check it out. But this mural reminds me of that film. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So again, it's like a little homage to Spider-Verse, right? Which it kind of reminds me of the homage over here to Bugs Land. So they're doing a lot here with Avengers Campus. And I am overall extremely, extremely happy with what we got here. But what do you guys think about all the stuff that we've talked about today what do you think about, um, you know, some of, you know, the, the, the discussions around California, the tie-in Marvel in California that I brought to your attention? What do you feel about these little homages? What do you feel about the look of the land, the Avengers, uh, you know, tile work and things like that? I would love to hear from you guys. And as always, have a marvelous, marvelous day. Bye-bye, y'all.